you can see she had a she has a little owie um, and it happened today so Ava is my very quiet girl so I knew that something really bad happened where's Ava I was editing today and I was sitting in the dining area that overlooks the goat house I had the window open there was a nice breeze and all of a sudden I, I hear this horrible scream that I knew it was Ava now all my goats have a very unique I don't know call or you know voice and so it's very um, it's very different one from the the other so I knew it was Ava my friends make fun of me because they say that I spend too much time with my goats but if you have goats uh, you more than likely do know the differences between their voices now Ava is my very quiet girl so I knew that something really bad happened come on Ava you want to go eat you can see she had a she has a little owie um, and it happened today so I'll tell you what happened. I run out of the trailer and I am just you know running really towards the pen when I see her that she's running around the entire barn and I don't you know I kind of see her pass but I didn't could I couldn't see the bottom so I did not know that she was attached to something so once I get in I get find all the goats they all coming walking towards me like oh is are you gonna feed us or something so I <laughs> I come here and I'm like no where's Ava so I start looking come to the back and find Ava attached to a basket where I feed them hay and telling you all this because what happened to Ava has to do with this hay basket that I've been using for months and nothing really like this happened but I'll tell you a little bit more about it I see her there her hoof is kind of it's the back one and it's it's kind of twisted in a weird way to the point that every time she was pulling it was pressing on the top of her hoof so she was actually hurting herself every time she tried to uh, free her herself so I I'm trying to be calm and I tell her just relax I'm gonna help you now the second I say relax I'm gonna help you I am walking you know a few yards I get to her and she tries one more time and she frees herself so you're probably thinking great not great um, it was like a murder scene there was blood ever and I knew that she really damaged something so I did not know what it was i thought that really she scraped herself but then remembering how the way that she positioned her hoof or the way that it was stuck in that basket i knew that <laughs> once i cleaned the blood i realized that it was that she ripped the entire hoof from the base against the leg towards where it ends it was really really bad i was all bloody my legs my shoes my clothes she is a white goat with some silver so she had you know she looked like she's been in a murder scene rubbing herself against blood i carried her into the milking area and I locked her, you know, her head because she was freaking out. She's very mellow and she will let me do anything to her. Like I can trim her hooves, I can give her medicine, I can give her a shot and she really will stay. But she was so freaked out, she was so scared that she wouldn't let me work on her. So I had to put her on the stand, give her some food, lock her head and that way I could assess what was happening. I thankfully had this uh, vetresin that is specific for eyes but uh, the main difference between the eye one the one for pink eye and the one for regular vetresin is just that the pink eye is more concentrated than the other one but you can use it the same way so I don't buy different vetresins so 
I kind of spray, 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 spray to kind of release the blood from the hoof and that's when I see that the hoof actually detached from the leg. As you can see, it's just, oh, sorry, it's detached from here. Ow. So, I think it would have been, it was going to be a lot worse. Uh, she just doesn't like this because it's wet, but there's nothing, this is not hurting her. I just need to make sure that, that it's really, really clean. That's all I want to do is, um, let me see if I can show you. You can see kind of the breaking of the hoof over there. You can see the pink. So that all that was really bleeding today and not anymore. So I'm glad that it kind of worked. You know, my first instinct was to call in to kind of figure out what the next step would be if she needs to be seen at the office or what we need to do um, but I wanted to do something about it immediately so what I did is I just grab a, a bandage not like vet wrap it's something that you use for horses and it usually stays better and it doesn't cut circulation as bad as vet wrap which I do have but where I used to work um, the owner of the horses gave me that and it saved me more than once now I know that that's better and that that's what I need to get in the future so yeah, I'm gonna get this wet so it won't get stuck to her hoof I know I know I know and I'm gonna try not to leave any creases I'll show you she's gonna move it and it's gonna get out of frame but my main goal by wrapping this is to keep some pressure so she doesn't continue to bleed now there's nothing sterile in a barn so since she sleeps there and again there, there's nothing sterile <laughs> anywhere so I am trying to um, wrap this to kind of isolate it for a few days until it dries up now my vet told me to make sure that she has no creases no visible creases because that bothers them and since she is i know sweet girl i know i know i hated to trust me this is not what i wanted to do today this is definitely not i know you don't like it so i'm gonna put it like this and then i'm gonna wrap it here so then instead of the red wrap this is the one that i'm gonna be using and I'm going to start up here. And you don't want to do it too tight, but tight enough that they can't take it off. Uh, because you don't want to cut, cut circulation if you ever feel like their leg is too cold. The tip, I think it's cold, she said. But any difference in temperature compared to the rest of the body, you should recheck your bandages um, and again uh, I would recommend you this 3M wrap because it really makes a big difference and when I did this the first time you know three hours ago I think I put too much well I I was under the impression that I was putting too much pressure so and you don't want again you don't want creases but this one, which is going to be the one that will kind of protect the bottom. Now this will need to be changed because as you know, they step on poop and pee all day. I don't have some scissors, so it's going to be kind of crazy. They step on poop and pee all day, so this is going to get wet and dirty. Uh, but basically that's a wrap that I do. And again, the main idea is not to have any creases because make it uncomfortable. Mark the leg, I should say, and make it more uncomfortable. Uh, what I'm going to try to do for the next several days is making sure she is wrapped, she is clean, and that, you know, she'll, she'll have enough time to heal. Now, she should heal by itself, this and she's gonna be okay. Now, later on I came and gave her some pain medicine, but she um, 
you know, she's not feeling great. Uh, I'm sure that it hurts despite the fact that I gave her some pain medicine and I'm going to have to continue to give her the pain medicine on a schedule until she starts to feel a little bit better because if you know anything about goats, the bad thing about them getting hurt is not only the actual injury, but also the fact that they start, you know, sitting down, laying down, not being active. And that really could be a bad thing. Uh, it could affect the rumen and it could start a series of problems that, you know, happen that are not actually the root of the problem. I took the time to give her and gave her selenium. I gave her some probiotics. And I gave her vitamin E. I, it was recommended to me to give her one tablet every time I give her selenium because vitamin E will help with selenium. Now, your typical paste does have uh, vitamin E, but it's not enough. That's what I was told by my vet, so that she recommended to get some vitamin E. I think this was five dollars at the grocery store so that's that's something that I did give her and vitamin E is vital for goats they it will help with a lot but um, especially for the absorption of selenium and the copper and all the minerals that they're trying to eat uh, they they really need the you know they they need to have the ability to uh, absorb it. I'll show you what she's doing right now, but she's been separating. She really, I mean, she eats if I give her pellets, but she's not really interested in hay at this point. This happened about three hours ago, so I don't expect her to be hungry and back to normal, uh, but I'm gonna have to give her a little bit more pain medicine tonight and then in the morning and kind of continue that for at least I am assuming at least a week until we can figure out how that is going to be healing. I contacted my vet friend and she said to just use a bandage and um, that what she was able to see through the pictures that I sent her is not bad enough that she'll need to do something about it. So at this point she's going to be treated here. And I just have to look out for signs that she's either running a fever, you know, and she, you know, she could get an infection or um, that she is separating, not eating, you know, being lethargic. Those are the signs that will tell me, you know what, it needs to be seen. She needs to be seen and given some other kind of medicine. So for right now, she is doing okay. Uh, she, again, this just happened. So... I will keep you updated on how she is doing and maybe if you have an injury like this it will help you in the future. She heard I was leaving so she's by the door. I think I'm going to separate her tonight. I'm going to put her with her sister in a stall and I'm going to put some hay on the ground so she can eat without having to get up if she doesn't want to. Anyway, long story short, I was really excited to pen Dom with Arya and Ava to kind of see if it would trigger um, a heat or if he would let me know when they're in heat. But at this point, I don't, you know, the plan was to do it July. So, you know, we still, we still have a couple more weeks of the month of June. She might be better by then. But I was hoping to kind of start it earlier just so they get to know each other, so they know their new environment and we kind of break them off being here with the girls. They are going to miss their mom, they're going to miss being with the rest of the herd, but I really wanted them to be bred for winter babies or, you know, late fall babies. And at this point, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Now, I could put Aria right now with Dom but I was hoping to breed them together. So I'll take a couple of weeks to decide if I want to separate them and kind of breed them one and then breed the other one. But the one that I was really, 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 really excited to breed was um, Ava because she has a lot of what I'm looking for or she has some of the signs and some of the characteristics that I think are great to see before you breed them. And so, I, you know, after Athene, 
freshening and liking what I'm seeing with the combination of Clara and Rocky. I am just hoping to see you know, a little bit of those great qualities of Annabelle's adder, which she has a lot of faults too, but I wish I could get some of those easiness of milking and big orifices and maybe the structure of an adder from Dom, that would be great. So I am really eager to breed them, but at this point, um, I don't think I want to put just one of them with Dom because it's gonna be super super loud and they're gonna be upset they're gonna be kind of sad about it because they've always been together so I I think I'm gonna give it a couple of weeks until they until Eva heals um, and then we'll take it from there hopefully she'll do good I am just a little worried about her there's Eva I'm gonna stick around and see if she's chewing the cud. Okay, so there's Ava. It's trying to eat. So we'll see if she actually eats. I, I think she's just uncomfortable. You can see she's not putting any weight in her back leg. But if you wanted to know, this is day two. Uh, her bandage is clean, so I'm assuming she's not bleeding. I changed it earlier today, but I'm going, oh, she's trying to put a little bit away. But it's funny because I have to go out of town and I'm like, of course, of course, you had to do this right before I went out of town. But I feel so bad that she's limping. Poor little girly. all that winter hair oh be nice Ava you're the nicest girl now you're being silly for a stump oh my sweet Claudita you're a sweet girly and you're very pretty yes everyone's jealous of how pretty you are <laughs> 